The end of summer was so beautiful, and we were very lucky to have a hot and sunny summer that kept us outside a lot. Now that the weather has changed to fall, we are spending more and more time in the house. Rather than heading straight outside, my daughter and I love to have slow, relaxed mornings snuggled up on the couch with a blanket. With having more time inside, I'm also feeling more drawn to creating art. This has been a bit more complicated as I officially had to move out of my office to create my daughter's big girl room and open up her bedroom to be the nursery for our baby who is coming in the next few weeks. We have a spare bedroom downstairs that we've always planned to move the office into once we ran out of bedroom space upstairs, but with how busy things have been with weddings and events, we haven't been able to put the space together the way that we'd like yet. This left me without really having a great place to work on art. I finally realized that my best bet for now would be to work in my sketchbook and that I'd also get to use my fountain pens, which I love, but don't get to use for finished pieces. What is also great is that I can find little moments here and there where I can work in my sketchbook, even when I'm with my daughter through the day. She keeps me on my toes through most of the day, but in those spare moments, it's nice to get to do something creative. For this sketch, I wanted to do something fairly dark with a lot of contrast. I found a Dahlia variety on Unsplash that has very light flowers on it and almost black leaves. I was excited to create a composition where the blooms are surrounded by the dark leaves to create that high level of contrast. With our second child approaching, and with having made the new bedroom for our daughter, I'm really getting into nesting mode where I want to get everything organized and cleaned up so that we're ready for newborn life. This hutch was originally in the office, but wasn't going to fit downstairs, so we decided to try it in the living room. I love it so much in this room and can't believe how much it has changed the space. I worried it would make the room feel small and crowded, but it just works really well for the space and has added a lot of warmth and interest, as well as some really functional storage. I have kind of a bad habit of leaving knitting projects all over the house so that I can easily pick them up when I have a spare moment. I love having the projects on hand, but I kind of never know where they are and don't love the cluttered look of having them on the tables and the back of the couch. Now I am keeping all of my current projects and most used knitting tools on the hutch and it's been working really well for me. My daughter even knows where my knitting is and one time brought me my knitting basket because I look tired. I also have diapers and wipes in a basket so that I don't have to run upstairs if I need to do a diaper change while we're downstairs. And then I like to store things like coloring books on the lower shelves so that my daughter can easily grab them.
The living room looks so much more finished with this hutch and also with the castle painting that we finally hung up. made myself a little pick-me-up with some apple chai rubos tea and some pumpkin scones. I'm working away on the sketch while my daughter has a snack on the couch and you can also see our dog behind me as well who is very interested in her snack. I'm also standing at the buffet to work in my sketchbook because I find that if I want to take a few minutes to work on something, if I'm standing, I have a much better shot at it. My daughter and I are not often apart, and if I am sitting, we are sitting together. That is not a bad thing at all, as I feel very lucky for all of my couch snuggles, but it does make it difficult to sit and draw sitting on the couch. Knitting is usually okay, or mostly we'll just hang out and play with little people or play with Play-Doh. It was really nice to get to work on this and to get used to mark making and shading with a pen again. I felt a little slow and uncertain when I started shading this sketch and as I got to the end it was back to being meditative and more decisive feeling. It makes me want to make time for more sketches because there isn't the pressure of creating something that you consider final but you can still work on your skills and have some creative time through the day. I could see, especially with newborn life coming up, enjoying working in my sketchbook when I can. And here is the finished sketch. Thank you so much for joining me for this little vlog today. I hope everyone is enjoying their autumn so far and that you are also able to find peaceful moments for yourself through your day.